Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of Hello Wallace. This channel takes you to the places in Britain that tourists will usually have missed. Today, we are coming to a hill in the south of the UK, Beacon Hill, and there is one famous person on top of the hill. Climbing up yourself might be some hard work. Why not join me together on your screen? Let's get up the Beacon Hill. First, we cross a small gate. The sign on the gate says, "No metal detecting." We'll come back on that. This type of gate is designed to keep the large animals inside. There is a dual carriageway nearby. If there is any large animals get through the dual carriageway, the result will be unthinkable. Slowly pass through this grass area. Say hello to those people and dogs and join there. Metal detecting is one of the hobbies in Britain. They are not looking for bombs or anything dangerous. They are looking for treasures. Let's start going up from the side. He said right. I might be getting a bit warm up the hill, as he is just wearing shorts. I have been to the top of the hill before. It is a bit windy up there. Although it looks sunny, but I was wearing a heavy coat and a woolly hat. With the full blown of sun rays all over, it does get a bit warm. As soon as any cloud blocking the sun, or when it gets a bit windy. The coat will become necessary, I think. The weather in Britain changes very quickly. Often, the weather of all seasons could appear in one day. Due to the ever-changing weather, it is the most often subject to start a conversation for people in Britain. If you are not located in Britain, how is your local weather? Is it also very changeable? What is the most used subject to open a conversation in your local area? Weather, food. Do comments below to let us know where you are and what is the most used subject to start a conversation. The word beacon means a fire or light setup. In high or prominent position, as a warning, signal, or celebration. In the past time, without any modern technologies, when the suspected enemy is being spotted, or in case of emergencies, the fire signal from the beacon would be easily seen from the surrounding places. There are many places in Britain which includes Beacon in its name. This particular Beacon Hill, its altitude is around 250 meters, or around 800 feet in height, from the sea level. There are places higher in Britain, but often in the north. The path that we are walking on can be very muddy and slippery when it's wet. If you live in Britain and look forward to have a go yourself, please make sure that you choose a dry, sunny day. 
And if the path is wet and muddy due to the rain prior to your visit, don't risk it. Last time I came before the Christmas, right after a few days of rain, the muddy path looked like brown custard, and some people could only slide down with the mud. You will need good country wellingtons, or my recommendation remains, if it is wet, just don't risk it. This beacon hill is located in the south of the UK, around 50 miles west from London. From the Heathrow Airport, it is around one hour drive. There is no bus or public transport nearby, you will need to get here by car. The nearby town with a mainline train station is Newbury, which is just around 7 miles away or 15 minutes by car. Another gate is in front of us. Let's get through this gate to get to the second section of the hill. No metal detecting is permitted on Beacon Hill. One of the reasons could be the birds are nesting on the ground here. We have heard on the news that detectorists found treasures like ancient coins, gold, space rock, etc. Some of them were very valuable. When walking up, did you hear the birds singing along the way? I recorded the nature sounds while walking up the hill. They were not added artificially. The metal detecting has been made into a TV series from the BBC called Detectorist. If you're in the UK, you can check out the BBC link in the descriptions to watch it. If you're not in the UK, you can check out the IMDB link in the descriptions. You may find it in your preferred streaming services. The plants on the sides are getting further away as we move upwards. The ground surface seems to be quite smooth. With very short grass, it could be quite slippery when it is wet.
we have only been walking for about ten minutes. The people behind me, they need a rest. It looks like the guy in front of me needs a rest too. Look at the view. We are so lucky. It is a sunny day. The clear view of the horizon is worth all the sweat and efforts climbing up.
Well, let's pause here for now. In the next episode, we'll come to the top of the Beacon Hill to have a look at this one and introduce you to the famous person who is on the hill. We will see you in the next one.